Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the ASUS 10 gigabit PCIe network adapter. I did purchase this product myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this item or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. Check out the nice retail box and packaging walking us through a lot of the quick tech specs for this device. So we have a two year warranty, supports Windows 10 and Linux systems. And it has five different speeds that are supported, 100 megabits per second, one gigabit per second, 2.5 gigabits per second, five gigabits per second, and 10 gigabits per second with a nice diagram showing you how to connect everything and get it set up on your network. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, you can see we have our warranty card followed by our customer service and contact card. We have an included driver support CD if we need to use that. And we have our installation guide right here, complete with three steps for full setup. Unplug and power down your computer. Make sure the network card is seated properly into your PCIe slot. Then go ahead, install the driver. I expect this to download and install automatically, but if it doesn't, you can insert the CD or you can download it from the ASUS website. Then we can connect our devices to it and we're all set and ready to go. So we have our nice indicator light breakdown right here. So the first one on the left-hand side is your speed LED. So it's gonna be green if you're getting 10 gig or yellow if it's five gigs or less. Then you can see on the right hand side, same thing It's gonna be blinking green as it's transferring and receiving data. And that's gonna be, I believe, solid green if there's no traffic coming through. Same instructions on the back, just in a different language. Then we have an extra cover plate for us, depending on the size and form factor of our PC case. So you can see the differences right there. And last but not least, we have the networking card itself. Check that out. ASUS logo and branding XG-C100C. Love the red color scheme with the big heat sink on it with their logo and branding. Looks really sharp. Very small in form factor too, which is great. Network adapter with our model information again, XG-C100C, serial number. You can see our RJ45 port right there with our two indicator lights letting us know speed and our link right there. So you can see both options very nice, pretty cool. So everything looks great. Now let's go ahead, let's get it installed and try it out. Now you can see we have the network adapter installed right here in our computer. Let's go ahead, let's boot it up and try it out. So you can see we got everything set up right here. So you can see within Windows, our network settings, we're showing our speed of 10 gigabits per second. So you can check out that data right there. You can also see the network card installed right here under task manager. Now we have a shared network folder. Let's go ahead, let's take this previous project, let's copy it over to this computer, and let's see the speeds that we're getting. So here you go, you can see we're getting 500 megabytes a second for our speed. You can see our send and receive right here. So we're getting, you know, five gigabits per second. For megabytes for 10 gigs, we should be getting around 1250 megabytes if it was running at its true theoretical capacity right there. So we're getting about half of that, around five gig network speeds transferring this, you know, 60 plus gig file folder full of a bunch of different video clips and scenes. So using those same computers, I wanted to conduct an iPerf3 test so you can see the results right here. We were averaging 8.6 gigabits per second over our network now with the 10 gig switch installed and the 10 gig cards with our PC. So overall, I'm very happy and impressed with the huge boost in performance that I'm getting in my home network as I transfer a lot of video files back and forth between computers to edit. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.